There is growing anxiety in northern Colorado this morning over a possible serial shooter on the loose. Police are investigating whether a third shooting is linked to other cases in that area. All three happened within a 15-mile radius. Barry Peterson is in Loveland, Colorado, with why police say the shootings might be connected. Barry, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Well, this shooting took place, this apparent murder, on Wednesday. The victim was out for a late evening stroll. Now, they've already set up a task force on these serial shootings. The FBI, local sheriffs, local police departments. Now, they're trying to see if this one is connected. There's an opportunity to feel fear because we don't know if this is related to the other shootings. Authorities couldn't offer a solid link Thursday, but they admitted there are similarities between two shootings this spring and a third that took place late Wednesday. There's a male lying on the sidewalk, not breathing. He's bleeding uncontrollably. Just before 11 p.m., police responded to a call of a man down at this intersection in Loveland. An autopsy revealed 65-year-old William Canole was killed by a single bullet to the chest just a block from his home. Whoever's doing all these shootings uh, has something going on inside of their head and they don't need to take it out on innocent people. He had just beaten cancer. He was, you know, full of life. In April, Corey Romero was driving on Interstate 25 when she was shot through the neck. Um, I'm on the highway right now and somebody just hit me and I'm bleeding from my neck and I'm scared. Another victim, 48-year-old John Jacoby, was shot and killed while riding his bike in May. With a third unsolved shooting, the community is on edge. Keep your eyes open, pay attention in your neighborhoods, look for things that may be out of place. The FBI is already offering a $10,000 reward for the arrest of a suspect in the serial shooting. As for the family of William Canole Jr., they issued a statement saying that they were shocked, as you would expect, at the loss of what they called a loving father and grandfather. Gail? It does seem very senseless. Thank you very much, Barry Peterson.